Fitness news this week. Arnold said, screw your freedom. Screw your freedom. And everyone got really angry. Redcon one boycotted the Arnolds and four times winner of World's Strongest Man, Brian Shaw did this. And I thought he was walking out to his backyard to do this. That one was beautiful. But he didn't. But side note, can everyone just agree how angry he looks when he's taking that picture down? I didn't know where that bloody thing was going to end up. Thor will be fighting Devin Lara. Boston Lloyd said that the cycle of a coach that was coaching some people in Europe was way worse than he thought. This is the oh most recent person God, that has messaged me. worse than I thought. And that's when you know it's bad. If Boston Lloyd says your cycle's bad, like, you need to really take a look at what you're doing because that's, uh, pretty bad. Tony Huge contracted COVID and thought he was going to die. Just gasping for air dying. Tony Huge got over COVID and wants to do threesomes again. And like, I'm telling you, I think we need to get back into the threesomes. And Pavlo and Ivan both attempted 505 kilos at the World Deadlift Championships and both unfortunately failed, but what a huge effort from both of these guys. Absolutely amazing. But I think the biggest news comes from Afghanistan. Now, if you haven't been following the news, it's been very depressing. The country has fallen, everyone's scared. There are babies being passed over fences, people are falling off planes. Everyone's trying to escape and it's actually legitimately tragic what's happening in that country. But you know what else is tragic? This video that I found with the Taliban taking over the presidential palace they thought you know what we have a country to run and we need to set up a country and build roads and infrastructure and hospitals but we need to get a workout in first straight off the battlefield they walk straight into a gym and look at what is going on here we have a pink guy who attempts a lap pull down and he almost hits his friend in the brown and then he says oh not for me he gives up after one rep the brown guy goes in but we never actually see the form of the brown guy because we pan over to a guy now doing a fast reverse treadmill and the guy filming him has two rpgs in the middle of the bloody gym Brown guy, the form is, well, yeah, it's not great, but look, it's better than pink guy who's now gone off to do another machine somewhere. And now we have a bloody guy doing a bicep curl into an overhead press. Now, actually, this is probably the best form out of all of it. And you know it's bad if someone's doing a bicep curl into an overhead press, and that's the best form in the entire bloody video. But look, they've had a long day killing people and taking over a country. So, I mean, you have to cut them some slack. Now we're taking a look at the gym again. Bloody pink guy comes around again. He's given up. He's just walking around now having fun. We look at some guy doing a leg extension machine. Nate, you don't need your hands on the leg extension, just use your legs. We see brown guy again, he's let me down. He has let me down completely. Look at him now. He's got his hands on the bloody pads. Mate, that is where your forearms go. Somebody needs to go over there and tell him that is where your forearms go. Now we're looking at the gym itself. I'm not sure that would pass COVID restrictions. They are definitely not four meters apart, these machines. But you know what? I think the Taliban have bigger concerns at the moment than trying to restrict COVID, like um, building a country. Now, sadly, the Taliban don't allow women to participate in sports, but that's a real shame because if we take a look at this video from a year ago, in a conservative women's only gym, the women know how to go forward on treadmills and actually know where to put their hands on a chest fly machine. Now, I know you have a lot of problems in your country at the moment, but if you do get it set up and running, people will want to start making gains. And I don't think you're the best people to be coaching. I mean, just look at you. So I'd really be reconsidering that rule, guys. I think the women have you beat here. Fitness science, the news of the week.